Hello crafters, this is Gareth from G's Creations. Today I'm going to show you how I made this pyramid card. Now it does open, so you can write inside, and it does fold flat, and it measures four by four inches. Oh, this way, so it measures, because it's peak to peak, it's about five and a half, so it should still fit into a um, A2 size envelope um, and then you just flip it back out you pop it behind your embellishment and you have an A uh, pyramid card now all these embellishments are available in my store once it's opened apart from this one here this is a Tim Holtz one I'm trying to get a hold of these so this may be available in my store once it's open but these ones certainly are. That's the leaves, the uh, the bumblebees, and the dragonflies. So I'm going to show you how I created this. So I'm going to start off with a standard piece of A4 size cardstock, and I'm going to cut it down to four by four. And you'll need three of those. You only need three square pieces that measure four by four. So you should get quite a bit out of a standard sized piece of A4 card. that's those now this is a white core card so I'm going to use some blue ink this is the distress ink from Tim Holtz and this is the uh, faded denim so I'm just gonna ink the edges so it's not so vividly white and I'm going to use my scoreboard and you are going to score down the center of each of them so that's literally point to point make sure I'm still in shot yes I am that's one done That's three. Now I'm going to use some of this decorative paper which I found on um, eBay. I'm going to cut these down to size. Now the way this works is they you have to overlap them. So you have to think about the way in which you cover them. So I'm going to cut these into 4x4s and then cut them in half so they fit on the inside. But I'm going to do them slightly shorter, so, uh, sorry not shorter, slightly smaller, so 3 and 3 quarters um, inches. So I've got that quarter inch gap or that one eighth gap around the edge. So just got to choose, I like this blue and the greens, so I need to get some paper that coordinates well with it. Well those two go nice together, do they match that? Not really. So let's go with those. Does that work? Yeah, it does work. Okay, let's go. Let's go with those. So I'm going to cut these to three and three quarters square. Oh. 
is a And I'm going to cut these in half. So I'm just going to line up each point into the cutting, um, the cutting gully. Ladies and gents, I'm just trying to find my other my other square. There it is. Right. The way this works is that you overlap them. So I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna put some numbers on here. So this is this is square number one. This is square number two. And this is square number three. I'm not going to write anything on there. So you've got the flap number one will overlap flap number two. Okay. So you just ad adhere that. So let's do that. I'm going to be using the um, Arlene's original tacky glue. So we'll just put some tacky glue on here. Now be careful when you're gluing these. You don't want to. You don't want them to be over the uh, the uh, the fold line. You just don't want to be able to fold them. You got movement time with this tacky glue, which is good. Okay, and this one will then go over here like that. So let's put some more on. Oops. This doesn't dry as quick as the um, oh, glitter glue, that's for sure. So you get that. So you basically get the second one is in the middle, but it over one of the two flaps over overlaps the one and the third over flaps overlaps the two so you end up with that shape now on this side that will tuck behind a, an embellishment so I'm just going to use my piercing tool and put a little hole there so I know that in that area I need to use a split pin or a brad now looking at my my papers I need to decide where I want them let's have a look because that will be going behind yep I can do that so I'm going to use my distress ink again and put the blue down the down the edge quickly on all of these ok 
just to take away the, the stark whiteness of the uh, paper center, the paper core. Need to um, need to redub you, I think. Okay, that is that done. Let's move this bit of card out of the way and go back to placing these. Now, I think I will use the uh, the art glitter glue because it just dries that a little bit quicker. I haven't got much left in this at all. Okay, that one has run out, so let me use this because I have this on hand. Oops. That's going to go like that and be tucked behind. So I can have that poking through there and have it there. And then I can have this just. Uh, hmm. I think I want this one here. I'll have that one there. Just a tiny bit of it here, and then that here, and a tiny bit of it there. Okay, that's what I'll do. It's good to have a play around. Make sure you get it all in, you know, where you want it. I hope everybody's had a nice weekend. So all I need from this one is a tiny bit from the edge. So I'm going to put it down and cut it. I'm just gonna eyeball it, but I'm sure you could you know measure it and cut it and get it all the right correct hundred percent correct measurements. This is all part of the fun of crafting, in my opinion, anyway. Okay, let's put this piece down. Pierce the hole. And again, I need to go back here and, and cut it. Ink the edge.
and like the uh, like the trifold cards, you could make these, you know, for all seasons, Christmas, birthdays, anniversaries. Right, let me go over and need to go and get a bread. So I'm gonna go over and choose a bread. I'll be back in a second. Let's have a look at the bread. This bread shall I put in? I'm gonna put this one in. You see that? I'm going to put that in. So pop it into the hole. Now you you know you 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 can um, map the insides so you cover that and cover that and then you just have the the center part to um to to, to write your message to the recipient. But you, I mean you can literally decorate these into your heart's content. You can do as much or as little as you want. So there we are. You can embellishment it. You can continue to embellish it if you wish. But there there is the excuse me, I apologize. There is the pyramid card. And for any of you Star Trek fans out there, this definitely looks like the Star Trek insignia. So it would look fantastic if you could get hold of some space themed paper. So there we have it. Really, really neat. Really unusual. Really, really unique. And it should still fit into a um, a two size envelope. So not too bad on the postage. Obviously, if you're going to embellish it, it further on the outside, it will bulk it up a bit. So I recommend you put it into a padded envelope. But there we go. Really neat card. I really like it. So thank you for watching. I will see you again soon. Take care now. Bye bye.